Oh, hi everyone. Today, as I realized that we're celebrating the release of the new Strange World movie, I've been dying to do this because a lot of people have been making me want to do a request to Animat by saying that this is my next big collaboration with Animat. So, by December, I might do my collaboration, another one, I guess in two more collaborations with Chicken Run and Curse of the Wear Rabbit a bit later for December. Although before the last wish will come out, as I know it's it's coming out as a sneak peek preview today, we're gonna waste it not gonna waste any damn time focusing on this movie. So the plot is simple. The main characters, Jager Clade and Serger Clade, are adventurers who have the bravery of of braving the wilderness to explore the new worlds that they were trying to traverse the mountain that surrounds the land of Avalonia. But Sergio discovers a plant that gives off energy. However, Jager tells of the continuing the quest, but Sergio and the others of the expedition team said that this new plant called Pando is good enough but an angry Jager continues his mission alone. 25 years later, Serge has made a name for himself by harvesting Pando and turning it into a food resource for Avalonia. For him, he's now being married to Meridian, and now that his son Ethan Clay is embarrassed that he's talking about his crush Diazzo. However, Callisto Mao tells them to arrive in her giant airship called the Venture. She informs to the clades that the Pando is losing its power and they need Searcher to find his father, Jager, to find the cause. This time, they all join on a new expedition team to the giant sinkhole full of giant roots of Pando being located. On the way down, Meridian catches up everyone in a crop duster, but the dog legend has sneaked aboard the ship where he wasn't allowed to do. But they all get attacked by wyvern-like creatures and continue going down until they break through a sensitive crust but end up in a subterranean world. However, Sancho and Ledger get separated from the group. However, when they chase off a creature called Splat, Sancho and Ledger are rescued by their father, Jager, who has been reunited has been living on the ground for all these years. He reveals that he has tried taking advantage of traversing under the mountain, but is blocked up by, off by an acid, acid dick ocean that no one could cross. But he decides to help look for the venture as a means to cross it. Meanwhile, the rest of the group tries to prepare the ship, but Ethan sneaks away to find Searcher and discovers Splat, who tries to take him to his father, but they end up getting attacked by the Reapers, who were strange creatures that tried to get them all killed. But Sergio and Jago are reunited, and they are soon rescued by Meridian and Callisto, as they outrun the creatures and return to the venture where they started from. But Sergio insists on completing the mission while Jago continues journey crossing the strange world of Avalivian. But Callisto agrees to help fix the ship when they will continue to travel. During this time, Ethan realises that both Searcher and Jager don't see eye to eye and becomes frustrated with the two of them for their opposing views. In their next encounter put away the differences, they get a heart-to-heart -heart talk with one another and realise they respect their own goals for themselves. But the encounter a root cluster where the Pando, that as it is, is being attacked by the creatures. But that Pando was fighting back as they decide to try to help it. However, Sergio and Jager have another argument that ends with even angry leaving. When Sergio follows him aboard a small vehicle, where they make up realizing that they were just floating above an ocean in front of a giant eyeball on the mountain with, on top of it. The two realise that Avaloya has been on the back of a giant creature when they realise it's trapped inside its body, meaning that Pano is an illness that needs to be destroyed. 
Wow. It sounds like something out of Osmosis Jones. But when they head back to 4 and one they disbel they would disbelieve that Jager wants to leave the scene for himself. And they lock up the clades just from to prevent them from stopping their mission. But luckily, Splat and Legend finally release the family. Search and Eva mm, uh, head to the root cluster, which is actually the heart. And the Meridian takes over the finally convincing both Callisto and Jaker to have a change of heart. They return to break through the panda. But the creatures suddenly appear, bring the heart back to life, saving the land, but losing the panda power source forever. Search and Eva show the giant creature that is actually a turtle. One year later, Evil is in a relationship with Diazzo, and their friends collect resources from the strange world. Avalo is shifted from the panda into the wind turbines. Jago revisits ex wife who has remarried, and Sergio and Jago's relationships has been improved. Wow. As I noticed, this movie is inspired by the likes of Journey to the Center of the Earth and King Kong. As we all knew that Jake Gyllenhaal, who is best known for portraying, uh, Mysterio from Spider-Man Far From Home and being involved in Spirit Untamed is finally getting himself a redemption story that it only had a budget of $135 to $180 million and it bombed at $6.7 million. The contrast is revealed that despite the orange and white contrast with Henry Jackman's quick thinking, the animation is slightly improved for what we saw, and it just got generally positive reviews from the critics, but they criticised the the box office bomb thing, and it may not be in the same category as Frozen, Zootopia, and Encanto, all those movies that came from the past. This one would pack a punch in, believing its special effects are what kind of useful. As a result of a combination of CGI and 2D animation, which was inspired by the likes of Aladdin and Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. I noticed that speaking of carpets, I had no idea what we were doing to think of. I noticed there's something kind of awesome that... I might give this movie like an 8.5 out of 10. Then what the most recent thing being uh, Wednesday could do. When Wednesday originally got released... On November 16th, 2022, it originally received positive reviews by fans of CW's dramas, but for the Netflix fans, they criticised it for the similarities of its use of special effects. After being expelled from high school, Wednesday Adams enrolls at Nevermore Academy, a school for monstrous misfits, once attended by pets, Gomez and Morticia, who struggling fit with her contemporaries and coming to grips with her psychic abilities. Wednesday becomes a witness to several moments committed by a strange monster where she decides to investigate. Despite the idea of a goth teenager possessing psychic powers, it's nothing to do with the concept of what uh, Strange World actually perfected this formula. As I noticed the problem with Wednesday is that it doesn't get anything right. As I noticed it's not what I expected to believe. Although this was Tim Burton. As I noticed that Tim Burton. And his career has. Ran out of luck. I been realised I'd been. Picked off for discovering why I hate this series. But. As I noticed. That. Uh, I spent 32 seconds. More than 32 seconds doing this. That. I probably realised that. It's not what I expected that isn't exactly for the world's for viewers, but this is going to be one of the worst TV shows I've ever imagined. As I noticed that this was only on Netflix and it didn't make sense to me, I'm personally not going to like this one, but I'm going to give it a 2.3 out of 10. I blame the special effects and the characters who were awfully dumbed down as this entire franchise has been killed for real. Now, thanks to that, I have no idea what to think of. Since then, Strange World's lesson is that whenever you want to explore 
the journey of putting away your differences. This is why the surreal and the real mix together the resource that keeps an energy source of your powers. But Wednesday's lesson is that going to a gothic academy full of gothic monsters didn't make sense. Although I prefer to go to high college, when you just stick to going to high school or college, that's the best way you can do this, So It just sucks to be a goth, but I'm not a gothic boy, so that's all I can say about this one. So, bye-bye!